Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Now, today is Sunday, December the 20th, 20, uh, 2020, and we are beginning our read in a new book, Samuel. Samuel is the uh, ninth book of the Old Testament. The author is Samuel, Nathan, and Gad, and an unknown scribe who served as a compiler, written around uh, 900 B.C., claims to fame and contains the famous story of David killing Goliath. Ooh. Famous stories include Samuel's mother gives him to the priest to raise. Samuel hears God's voice as a boy. Samuel moists David as future king. David kills Goliath. Saul calls on a witch to bring the prophet Samuel uh, back to life and back to him. I'm not going to read all these. I'll let you look at this. You can peruse it yourself. You can slow it. You can freeze the camera and you can see what it says. Let's see if I can go back. Important points, uh, about the book. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to make a copy of this and put it on Facebook so you can get it so you can see it. Okay. All right. So we're going to be reading from, I've already spent a minute. Ew. Reading from the King James version of the word of God. First, the first book of Samuel, first Samuel, the first chapter, and it reads. Now, there was a certain man of Ramathaim Zophim of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tuhu, the son of Zuth, and Euphratite, and Euphratite. And he had two wives. The name of one was Hannah. And the name of the other was Penina. And Penina had children. But Hannah had no children. And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Phoni and Phineas, the priest of the Lord, were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Penina his wife and to all her sons and her daughter's portions. But unto Hannah, he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah. But the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so, so she provoked her before she wept and did not eat. She went up to the Lord, so she provoked her, therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah, her husband to her, Hannah, why weepest thou, and why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am not I better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and she prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunk. See, sometimes we think too much. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I, I, I'm a woman of sorrowful spirit. I've drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thy handmaiden for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken heretofore. Hitherto. So then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee the petition that has that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. 
And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord and returned and came to their house to Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah, his wife, and the wife remembered her and the Lord, Lord Jesus, and the Lord remembered her. Wherefore, it came to pass that when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived and she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, because I have asked him of the Lord. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to the office, went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him that he may appear before the Lord and there abide forever. And Elkanah, her husband, said unto her, Do what seemeth good. Tarry until thou weaneth him. Only the Lord establish his word. So the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her with three bullocks and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young. And they slew a bullock and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore, I also have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. Chapter 2. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. Mine horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies because I rejoice in the salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy, arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble are girded with strength. That they were full, they that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry ceased, so that the barren hath borne seven, and she that hath many children is wax feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the thrones of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces out of heaven. Shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth. And he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. And Elkanah went to Ramah to his house. And the child did minister unto the Lord before Eli the priest. Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. They knew not the Lord. And the priest's custom with the people was that when, the, when any man offered sacrifice... Okay, so we're going to tell you about the priest's custom at the next read. Praise God. That will take us to 1 Samuel, the second chapter, verses 13. Again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued support and donation of $20 to paypal.me for slash Pamela Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We are Smurf, 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Follow, just 7-Minute Read Faithful Vote. We broadcast across 16-plus social media sites. Pacific Standard Time, we broadcast live again Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. If you don't want to support with any of your money, that's okay. These are other ways that you can support. You can support in particular number two, number two, sevenminutebling.com. The beautiful jewelry that you see me wearing in every broadcast is $5 bling, seven minute bling, paparazzi jewelry. Also be mindful of number three, number three, excuse me, number four, melaleuca.com forward slash Pam 23 Will Dobson. What you need to do is get you some of these products instead of using the Clorox, the Lysol, the Pines, all that stuff y'all using. You need to get you some of the saw you guard, but you can only get it from Melaleuca. Also other health care products. All right. Remember, Jesus loves you and I love you too. And there is nothing you can do about it until we live in faith and not fear. God bless.